who is the number one goalie for the Maple Leafs right now and has Tyler Bertuzzi found a role with the Maple Leafs. Hey everyone, welcome to Inside the Leafs. Rob Wong joined alongside by Toronto Sun Maple Leafs writers Lance Hornby and Terry Koshan. And guys, with Ilya Samsonov struggles this season, other net miners have had the opportunity to take the reins. First, it was Joseph Wall who got hurt, and now it's veteran Martin Jones who began the year as the third string goalie and has now made two straight starts. Terry, we'll start with you. Should mm-hmm. Jones continue to get the bulk of the starts as long as Wall is out, or does Samsonov need to get in there to try to turn his game around? Yeah, I, they, they should ride Jones, certainly for these last two games before the break. I mean, why not? He's He's playing well. Uh, Samsonov isn't. Uh, he has confidence. Not sure that Samsonov does right now. And, you know, if you're going to go on last night, the game against the Rangers is, is the latest example of, um, you know, whether you're how you're judging Jones. You really can't. Three goals going off Rangers. There's an empty netter at the end. And, you know, the one that he didn't like, uh, you know, the, the winning goal by Braden Schneider. Um, you know, I, I don't think we're going we're gonna to hold that against him. A one goal and a five uh, you know, derails what whatever plan Sheldon Keefe might have had for the game in Buffalo on Thursday night. But, um, you know, I wrote this the other day. The, the coach wants to put the lineup on the ice. He thinks he'll give him the best chance to win that night. And right now it's Martin Jones, not Elias Samsonov. Right? It's pretty cut and dry. I would uh, I would slightly disagree, Terry. I think it's time uh, to, uh, you know, to see a bit more of Samsonov. And I think there's a bit of an opening there. I, I do agree with you. Jones hasn't done anything wrong. But uh, now uh, the optics don't look as bad if he uh, gets uh, Samsonov in, especially a start on the road. I mean, home, uh, there's, a, there's a great deal of impatience with uh, Samsonov's game, certainly. But, uh, you know, it's a, a talking to him. The other day, he's still the same old Ilya. He's got uh, he's got that confidence uh, at least off the ice. It's got to it's got to be uh, manifested certainly uh, on ice. And uh, this guy doesn't have much luck either. I mean, uh, the Leafs couldn't have played worse in front of him than they did a couple of uh, nights ago. I think it was the Columbus game when uh, they, they were coughing the puck up left, right, and center. And uh, you know, he's also had some some pretty bad luck come uh, overtime. I believe it's uh, five. Uh, you know five uh, shootout slash overtime losses and a a few more last year. So I don't think it's as bad as it is. And I think uh, especially if Wall's going to be out uh, a little bit longer, you got to get him in there uh, at least once more before the new year. Well, I I guess I'd look at it this way too. Um, You know, the, the one we, when Wall was healthy and we were talking about how good he was playing, the the comparison was between him and Samsonov was the way they played the, the position, right? Uh, one's technically sound, one isn't. And that's what we're seeing again right now, I think. Like, I think Samsonov is just swimming around too much. I know he had a shutout against Nashville a little while ago, but the Leafs played their best defensive game of the year. And quite frankly, I don't remember if, if he, he might have had one tough save in that on the, in that game on the, in the, the game in the first period. But, you know, I, I, I understand the idea that he, he, try, he has to get it back at some point. But, you know, the other things too, they've taken today off again. So he's not getting the benefit of an ever practice, right? Um, and, you know, I don't know. I just to throw him back in there. We'll have to see. But I, I like I said, I, I think Jones has to be the guy. But uh, we'll see if Sheldon Keefe agrees or not. And a quick thing, I think it's a winnable game in Buffalo too. So that uh, oh, that's true. Favor, yeah. I think Samson yeah. to uh, get that chance. Meanwhile, Tyler Bertuzzi has just four points in eight December games, Lance, but he has been impacting the game in other ways, whether it be getting in on the forecheck or battling for pucks in the corner. What have you made of Bertuzzi's game the last little while, Lance? Well, I think the last, if I'm not mistaken, that's the first time in a while he's had points in back-to-back games, had the uh, three or four-pointer a couple of nights ago and added one more last night. Uh, you know, it, it looks like he's working. You know, he's uh, he certainly looks like a hockey player out there with the with the flow going and the, the stick and the mouth guard and all that kind of thing. And, and personally, I don't think you can't keep playing with Mitch Marner and John Tavares and not eventually have success. This is not a, like a Nick Ritchie situation where he was a – a misfit on a line with uh, with top guys. I think uh, Bertuzzi brings a lot to the game. He, uh, you know, he's got that feistiness, and I think that eventually it will points wise it'll turn around with him. I certainly see him more involved now. He's uh, not had a lot of puck luck around the net, but uh, you know, I like him there, and I think uh, the longer this season goes, the more comfortable he's going to get. Yeah, I think you know the. I, I guess the only thing with Bertuzzi, like I don't disagree with that too, Lance, but. We should be seeing it by now. We're 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 into December. We're not still in the and by seeing it by now, I mean the production. You know, he's being paid five and a half million dollars this year, and it's not to score a point every other game or or, or every so often. I mean, um, or record a point every so often. He had the three points two two games ago, and then did quite a string of uh, games where he went without one. You know, the funny thing is here in Toronto, 
if your name isn't Marner or Nylander, the bar, otherwise the bar was set really high for wingers by Zach Hyman. And we've seen guys come in and just not be able to do it. Michael Bunting got as close as possible, I think, on those top two lines on that side. Uh, to bring it to what uh, Hyman did. And so, like Lance mentioned, Nick Ritchie, he might be the under end of that spectrum. But, you know, uh, as far as Bertuzzi goes, I, I still, there's more there production wise. That's all there is to it. His underlying numbers aren't bad. You know, I think he's fifth or sixth in shots on goal um, with the Leafs, and that includes uh, uh, Morgan Riley's ahead of him. So, fifth or sixth amongst forwards. But you want to see it start adding to something else now. Like, like a game like last night, for example. You know, Austin Matthews scores the only two goals. It's a tight hockey game. It really can go either way. In a game like that, that's where you might need another player in your top six to kind of step up and 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 and, uh, and produce. And it doesn't always have to be Tavares, uh, Nylander, or Marner. Matthews is the guy doing it. So, you know, I would think that as this calendar turns into 2024, you know, at or near the top of the wish list for the coaching staff is that it does start to drop a little bit more for Bertuzzi. But like Lance is saying, he's certainly not lost there. But there's something that more that has to come here. By putting the puck in there. I, I think the, the ultimate thing will be how he's judged is in playoffs. He's he's the ideal playoff guy. He had the great playoff uh, last year. I mean, even though Boston uh, got knocked out, but he was a good, uh, you know, a force there, I thought. And that's part of the reason uh, he was a, a good sale for the Maple Leafs. So that'll be ultimate. But uh, I do agree. There'll be a lot of impatience between now and April if he doesn't uh, produce a, a lot more. Uh, even with uh, those four points in his last two games, still on pace for just 37 points uh, yeah. in an 82-game year for Tyler Bertuzzi. As always, leave your thoughts in the comments section below or send us an email at Toronto Maple Leafs at postmedia.com. For Lance Hornby and Terry Koshan, I'm Rob Wong. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you next time.